Alexa, turn on Sky F1. Okay. Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing uh, my favourite, one of my favourite bits of smart home tech, and that's this Logitech Harmony Hub. Combined with an Alexa, I've managed to set this up to really sim simplify and automate how my smart home, uh, how I can use Alexa to control my smart home, to control my TV, my Xbox, my uh, set-top box from uh, Skybox and my audio receiver to really simplify how all these things work together. Down here I've got my Xbox and my audio receiver with the optical output from the Xbox into the receiver and same for the Skybox as an optical cable goes from there into my receiver which then is plugged into my surround sound speakers. So when I'm watching an X, um, say TV uh, there's a few things I have to do to actually get the TV to come on. It's obviously switch the TV on, switch the AV receiver on, and uh, switch the AV receiver to the right channel, and turn the skybox on. If I then want to play on my Xbox, I have to turn the Xbox on, change the HDMI over on the TV, and change the input on the AV receiver. So you end up with multiple remote controls just to do the one job, and no one else in the family wants to mess about with it, and they'll use the TV through the built-in speaker and I don't like that, I prefer having it simplified. Plus, um, yeah, why do it when you can do it through your smart home de devices like uh, Amazon Alexa. So, how do I do this? Well, this is where the Harmony Hub com comes in. There's my Harmony Hub. Plugs into power onto your Wi-Fi network and then you tell it what devices you've got in your home there's a skill for Alexa, so you can control it through Alexa, but you can also control it through an app as well. Or you did all the configuration on the app. So it knows how to uh, control everything. And then through an app on a phone or a tablet, you can configure those. So, so here on my uh, tablet, uh, this is an Android tablet. I've got buttons like watch TV, play Xbox One, and so on. So I do play Xbox One. You can hear that changing over. It's changed my receiver over, it's turned the Xbox on, it's turned the Skybox off, and it's turned the TV on. So, the reason why it can do all that is because I've told it what devices I've got. Some it detected itself, some I told it manually. So, Samsung TV there, that's the Samsung TV, it detected that using Wi-Fi actually. The Skybox, I just told it I had a Skybox, a Sky Digital Box, and told it what region I'm in. The, the Denon receiver, which is my amplifier, that I just told it the model number, which I uh, got off the front. And the Xbox One, uh, it detected that as well. So I can um, say, look on here, it'll scan for Wi-Fi devices, and it'll detect those devices. So here, I've just done a scan, it's actually found two more Xboxes, that's the other Xboxes on my network. And I can add them so I can control them as well if I want, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I can add a device by adding um, the kind of thing, so Nest and Smart Things, and uh, I can add computers to it. I can select, and I can scan for Wi-Fi devices. Um, I can enter the manufacturer name and model number, so this is where you, I enter my Sky HD box, see Sky Digital, and I can put the model number in there, or I can type in my Denon receiver. So I added all that first, that was the first job, and you see it's detected my uh, Philips Hue and my Sonos, and they're the ones I added manually. So once you've added the devices like that, you can then create an activity. So an, ac an activity, uh, I've got is watch TV. So that activity turns on the set-top box, the sky box, turns on the TV, turns the am amplifier on and sets the amplifier to the correct HDMI port. So let me show you how I can create a new one. So I'm going to add my own activity. Um, what do I want? What devices do I want to include? So I want the uh, Samsung TV, I want the Skybox, and I want my receiver. I don't need anything else, but I am going to uh, select a Hue scene as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to watch a type, so let's call it that. So 
uh, all my devices are on, okay. So, those are the three devices. Now I'm going to add a bit more option to it. Select which input I want on the TV. I want it on the HDMI 1, which is my Skybox is on. Sorry if I'm moving the camera at this tablet around a bit, sorry. And I want the uh, receiver to be on um, my other receiver to be on the TV one which is right and uh, that's okay so that's right so I've got so it knows to turn the TV on to turn it on to the HDMI channel it turns the receiver on to the right audio input I can select a hue scene I want the uh, lounge to be blue okay so what I'm going to do is add a step to this uh, on the Sky Digital Box and I'm going to get it to choose a channel. The Sky F1 channel I know is 406 so I can stick that in there. Okay, add that. So I've got it to turn the TV on, turn the Sky Box on, turn the receiver on, turn the TV to HDMI 1, turn the receiver onto the, the TV, set the Sky Digital channel to 406 and turn the hue bulbs to blue. That's good. I can add delays and more things if I need to. That's fine. So let's save that. So let's see how that works. So there's my uh, TV. Sorry, Xbox. Xbox is on. The HDMI is set for the Xbox. Okay, so the lights are off. So let's see now. Alexa, turn on F1. Okay. I heard the Xbox go off there. The HDMI channel has changed. The Skybox has come on. And the F1 is on. And um, you can see there it's got the channel on there as well. So one simple command to do the whole thing. The, uh, you can see I can see that the HDMI is on the right channel as well. So one simple command from the from the hub as uh, Harmony Hub has done one thing and of course a great thing as I first say Alexa turn off Sky. Okay. I could have done turn off F1 and I could have turned turn off TV. It knows they're all linked. That's turned Everything off, receivers off, Xbox is off, everything's off uh, with one command. And as you've seen through the app there, I can sequence these and have these uh, in different orders. I can have time delays. It just makes things so simple. It also works, and it knows the channels. So I can say, um, Alexa, turn on BBC One HD. Okay. So. BBC One HD, it knows it is a channel on Sky, so it's turned the TV on, it's turned the Sky box on, it's turned the receiver on to the right channel. Now it's got to select BBC One, let's see if it does it. There's usually a bit of a delay on that actually, I've found. There you can go, see, it type the channel number in, and I'm done. So, no fiddling around with the guide, no fiddling around turning separate devices on and off. It's all controlled through that one device. You've seen them control it through um, Alexa, but I can also control it directly through this app, this iOS and Android. Um, I've even got one there, Listen to Records, which controls my Sonos. So if I hit that one, uh, it's turned off the TV, turned off the receivers, everything's off over there. Uh, my Sonos is connected to a record player and it's done that and that's ready to go as well. So um, I've actually got it set to play some music and uh, some music's coming out. So all that is built in to the app and to the, the hub. I said you can use through the app itself. I've got the input commands. So I've turned the TV on. See, I can type the channel numbers in. So I can type 406 in there, which turns in the F1 channel, which you see it does. I've got the buttons. But I've also got the controls. I can... There's the Xbox controls. So I can control the Xbox. Um, 
so I've got my Samsung TV remote so it does away with that you don't need any of the remote controls because you can do it all through this app they do have dedicated remote controls for Harmony that you can use but I'm using it through this tablet and, and on my phone but for most of the time I just use um, Alexa Alexa turn on Xbox and that's okay. going to do it turn off all the TV and job done so it's a really efficient way of controlling your home you can see the app responded there you don't need the app, the, the tablet on or anything I'm just using the um, the hub you know I don't have the, the tablet with, on all the time or anything like that it uses IR for I should point out as well the IR transmitter is on the front of this box that's why I've got it sort of pointed over there and it's using IR to control the receiver and the skybox the Xbox is controlling I think through uh, Wi-Fi but it can use IR, I've got IR sensor on there, I don't normally close the cupboard because I've got a little repeater up there the, the TV is actually controlled through Wi-Fi, the Sonos and the lights and everything else through Wi-Fi so that's it, it's a, it was about £80 to, um, on Amazon, I think I've seen it at 50 and special offer but it's a great um, way to really get going with smart home integration for really improving the um, simplicity and getting rid of the complexity of uh, device, you know, multi when you've got multiple receiver systems, you could have a projector, it could bring the screen down, it can bring all that together in one go. Works with Alexa, works with your phone, it's a really uh, neat solution. So, thanks for watching this video. You can find more smart home stuff on the dislifestyle.com and our YouTube channel, and you can follow me on Twitter at iStixon.